Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. I will pledge my heart to the love we share through the good and the bad times too. I'll forsake my rest for your happiness. Till my death I will stand by you. With God as my witness, this vow I will make to have and hold you no other to take for richer for poorer under skies gray or blue till my death i will stand by you there are wars and there are rumors of wars yet to come temptations we'll have to walk through though others may tremble I will not run to my death, I will stand by you. With God as my witness, this vow I will make to have and hold you, no other to take. For richer, for poorer, under skies gray or blue, to my death. I will stand by you. I will put on the armor of faithfulness and fight for a heart that is true. Till the battle is won, I will not run. To my death, I will stand by you. Welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty song. So that's a Kathy Matea song. It's an old country song. I just love it. It's called The Battle Hymn of Love. Such a good wedding song, right? So I've got mm, ma, 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 11 days. Double ones. Double ones until the big I do. So I'm just singing songs like about weddings. Don't you think that's one? Because it's like for richer, for poorer. Under skies gray or blue, to my death I will stand by you. All right, today's Totally Easy Tuesday. How are my besties today? Hello, guys. How are you? I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. Oh, my gosh. I'm so busy with wedding stuff. I have a wedding craft to show you today. Um, I have family coming in at the end of this week, so things are going to get a little, you know, a little chaotic. So this week... I'm doing twos of everything, so I have footage for you guys next week. So you might see me in the same outfit next Tuesday because I'm doing next Tuesday's video today. Does that all make sense? I hope so. Gosh, I hope everything makes sense. Hi, Effingham. How are you today? Effingham's still in this pirate garb. Arg, Getting ready for the big day, right? Um, okay, so let's see. Let's talk about what today is. Today is Totally Easy Tuesday. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, stick around. You're going to like it. We have a whole bunch of fun. But this channel, <coughs> hold on, <coughs> let me have some more coffee. Oh my gosh. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything in the Dollar Tree is a dollar. Unless you go to a DT Plus and then it's one, two, three, four, five dollars. I did a haul Saturday, Dollar Tree haul, Dollar Tree Plus haul. So if you haven't checked that out, you should definitely check that out. Last two Saturdays, I've done Dollar Tree Plus hauls. So just to show some of the fun stuff that they have at Dollar Tree Pluses. Still don't know if that's like gonna go to all Dollar Trees or if we're just gonna, I don't know. I guess we'll find out eventually. All right, so today you've landed on Totally Easy Tuesday. Now Totally Easy Tuesday is crafting for the down crafter. And Thursdays, or themed Thursdays are like a theme to it. It's been fall the last couple of Thursdays. Um, and then I do crafts, they, they might be a little bit harder. Friday is Foodie Friday. That's where I do food reviews of Dollar Tree items. Last week, I made a meal. That was kind of fun. It's actually where I think I'm going to head from this point forward on Foodie Fridays. 
I still have some stuff in there that I'm just gonna do a regular one, but I'm really gonna start integrating like cooking with food from the Dollar Tree on Foodie Fridays. And then Saturdays, it's holla for your dollar haul, holla for your dollar haul, because we do Dollar Tree shopping hauls, which are so much fun, of course, right? So also though, every week I do a giveaway. So it's for $20, $20 a $20 gift card on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but that's gonna go away. A couple reasons. Um, after the wedding, I'm going back to work. Immediately, I'm going back full time because somebody quit. So I'm like, all right, I've got to start cutting things out. That like, and the to remember to do the drawing and to send it out. Sometimes it's like it's just an added little stress. I have to keep a list and all that. So it's gonna go away. But you guys, I'm gonna replace it with other gives giveaways. And um, the other giveaways are easier because it's stuff I've already bought at the Dollar Tree that I'm gonna give away versus the gift card, which I never have them here when I need them. Anyway, there's like fur on me somewhere. Cat fur, I'm sure. Um, so this is actually this week, next week will be the last time that I do it. Just FYI. And then I also do a monthly challenge. So I've got all of everybody sent me amazing candy corn pictures. Thank you so much. I can't wait to put them all together. I'm going to be honest, it's probably not going to go out until next Tuesday's video because I'm trying to, I've got to sit down and go through them all. And it just takes a little bit of time. And there's more of you this time than last time, I think. So, and there's no way I'm going to get it done by Thursday's video. So it should probably be on Tuesday's video. But on Tuesday's video next week, um, we'll, I'll show all those. But today, I'm going to announce the theme for next month. It is November 1st. Is it 2nd? 1st. Today's November 1st. Well, it's second tomorrow when you guys see it, it's November second. All right, so this was um, I think it was Esther that said we should do a I gotta find it here. I should have had that. That we should do a Thanksgiving or a Christmas gift, something anyway, that would be a gift for a child. And then I said, then we what we should do is we should just all donate it. Um, it's like a little community thing we can all do together. Um, Obviously, we can't donate to the same place because some of you might take it to a donation thing on a church Christmas tree for, you know, underprivileged children. Some of you might do Toys for Tots. Whatever it is that you want to do, that's fine. Donate it. So the challenge this month is to make a gift for a child. I'm going to say Christmas because I don't really think feel like Thanksgiving is, you know, like we don't really give Thanksgiving gifts. But I guess if you want to do one, you can. But anyway, make a holiday gift. How about that? Make a holiday gift for a child using Dollar Tree stuff. So Dollar Tree items only. Make a holiday gift and just know that then we're going to donate those gifts to some underprivileged or Toys or Tots or something that's, that helps children during the holidays to receive gifts you wouldn't normally get them at home. How's that sound? Yeah? You guys like that one? It's going to be hard to explain every time on every video. Um, okay. And see, let's see. What else? Um, I already said 11 days, right? And I'm ripping my hair out. Oh, my gosh. So, okay, that's it. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. I don't think there's anything else I have to tell you guys. I love you so much. Thank you very much for all of your support as I move through this whole wedding scramble. Mm. It's get, it's fun. I'm excited to have my my daughters come in for the wedding, so that'll be nice. Get to see all of them. And um, anyway, I'm just excited about it. It's gonna be fun. Let's dive into what I did though. All right, because I actually really love what I did this week and. Super love it because it was things that I hauled on Saturday and I said, I'm going to do them on Totally Easy Tuesday. I did. So first, I don't even know what to start with first. Well, I'm going to start with this, which I didn't haul on Tuesday, but I had hauled it before. Um, and these are the placemats. So obviously I made a pillow, which everybody does. I get that. Everybody makes pillows. But what I did, I put a little twist on it. First of all, these, are, these placemats are just the perfect pillow size. Perfect pillow size. So all I do is glue. I just hot glue my ends in there. But this time I did on film, if I remember to link it, I'm probably not gonna link it, why didn't I tell you? But I did lemon stuff earlier this year and I made a craft on video when I did my haul, I think it was. And I took two pillowcases, I mean pillows from the Dollar Tree. They were, I think like the little mermaid ones or whatever, they're little tiny throw pillows. I took the stuffing all out of those and I took a lemon placemat and the lemon placemats, um, they, you know, like a lot of their placemats where it's got like the silky side and then the other side is a print so you can stuff the inside. And well, that's what I did. I stuffed, actually, hold on. I'm gonna insert that video right now so you can see me making the lemon pillow. What I was gonna do, I'm just gonna do a two super easy lemon DIYs for you right now on this 
video. So this is a placemat. They they have them there right now. They're all the lemons. The whole lemon dishware set is out. Okay. So um, I would normally take the time and do a seam ripper, but I'm not going to right now because we're gonna do this super quick on video. So all I'm gonna do is cut open this pillow right like this. This is so simple, you guys, and it's gonna be so cute. What I love about this placemat is this incredibly gorgeous, high-end looking pattern. Is that not beautiful? It's so incredibly beautiful. I can't believe this came from the Dollar Tree, to be quite honest. But yes, folks, it did. Now, what I'm gonna do is I purchased two pillows yesterday, two, two, count them, one, two, and I want the stuffing inside because everything I do on this channel is, I tell you guys all the time, I get all my supplies from Dollar Tree, and yes, I do. So I'm gonna cut a corner off this pillow like I just did. I'm gonna rip into it just a little bit, maybe. I don't know, I don't, it's, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to. And I'm gonna get the stuffing out of this pillow. That's enough, I can get the stuffing out. So all I'm gonna do is remove the stuffing. Actually, I could have left them like this and stuffed it in there, but I actually want the material from these two pillows for my nautical day, maybe. I mean, at this point, that's what I'm thinking. Although they would make great gnome stuff too. <gasps> maybe I can make a mermaid gnome. Oh my gosh. I might have to. See, that's how the brain works. Like, bam, I go like, it looks kind of like mermaid gnome. How cute would a mermaid gnome be for nautical? Oh my gosh, and Sally would be so excited because I still haven't done a gnome for her. Okay, so anyway, what I did was I removed all, basically I've removed all the stuffing. If I flip it inside out, I will get all the stuffing out of here. Now it is stuffingless. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that stuffing. Guess where I'm gonna put it? Inside of the placemat. So I'm gonna open up the placemat and I'm gonna stick this stuffing inside of here, just like this. What, Amy, you're what, you're stuffing? Yes, I am stuffing it in here. Then I'm gonna open up the second pillow, which is also mermaid scaly, and I'm gonna remove the stuffing out of that one. So I'm just gonna cut the corner on this really quickly. Try and do this fast, you guys. Um, and we're gonna get into this one and get all the stuffing out of this one as well and put it directly into our placemat that's now getting kind of stuffed and full, right? So of course it's not gonna end up a placemat, is it? We know what we're going with this. We're gonna end up with a, a lemon pillow. So I've turned this inside out, getting all the stuffing out of this pillow and voila. Now, I did this like this. I purchased the pillows with the stuffing because I say everything comes from the Dollar Tree. Listen, folks, you guys probably have old pillows at home or you could buy pillow forms, whatever you wanna do, and you could do this and make your own little pillows out of their placemats. The other thing I could have done was I could have purchased two and made it two-sided, but that wasn't what I was going for for this demonstration. All right, now, look where I am. I want you guys to see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take the two ends and I'm gonna fold them in, okay? Did you see that? I just folded them in. And now I have the two, now that's like this, okay? Can we see that? So this is a cute little size throw pillow that's all lemon. Folded it in, what am I gonna do right now? I'm gonna grab my handy dandy little glue. I can't really do this up there, you guys, I'm sorry. But I'll show you. So I'm just gonna run glue along the inside and start gluing that together. And in the end, what am I gonna have? a really cool lemon pillow for you guys to see. So I've already started gluing. See that? <laughs> so simple. That just took me how long to do? Like no time at all, right? All right, so let me just finish this really quickly. I should sing you another song, maybe. I don't know. You guys sing. Why don't you guys sing for me? You got chains, it's a chain break. That's such a good song, Zach Williams. I'm totally gonna include it, link it down below. All right, this isn't gonna be perfect because I'm trying to do this really fast for you here, but I did wanna do it so you could see literally how easy that was and what a cute pillow. $3 and what, five minutes? Because I probably sang for two. Okay, so I just wanna show you, now didn't, this didn't come out, so actually that's not bad for super fast. I would have taken my time and really, you know, and I will, I'll go back and like redo this after we're off camera. But, right? Okay, 
So you see how I made the lemon pillow. So the lemon pillow is, it's great, it's super cute, but I'm all about how many times can I use things and double use them? That's what I did with this. So the lemon pillow is inside of here. It's the perfect size. Okay, so now I'm, so I'm gonna take this apart and then fold this up and put it away for fall and then the lemon will go back into the lemon area or wherever, you know, does that make sense? And also this lemon pillow, I'm gonna make a Christmas one right behind this one, right? I'll use Christmas um, placemats to make one that the lemon pillow will go into and then you just kind of see what I'm saying? But what I really want to tell you guys is that, so I like, I thought about it a whole bunch. Like this is solid glued, okay? Solid glued, there's no gaps in here. But I want to be able to remove that lemon pillow. Now, I don't have a grommet maker, so I couldn't like lace up a side or top or anything like that. So this is what I did. And I want to show you how easy I made this. And this all still works, right? Look, it's a pillow. But what you don't know is there's gaps in here. See that? So when I glued this side together, I didn't solid glue it. And this is why. Because I'm going to be able to do this super easy. And out comes my lemon pillow. Fold this up. Put it away. See that? Now all I did was spot glue. Now I'm gonna put it right back in here. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna put this right back in here. Hold on, I'm gonna take my, my trusty glue gun right here and I'm gonna do like one. Of course it needs glue. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Because I wanna use it. So I'm gonna do one. Notice I didn't rip the corners apart. Two, three, four little blops and I'm going to put it all back together. Pillow back. See that? That's the side I just glued. So, so that was what my solution ended up being, which I think is absolutely brilliant. I think it works really well. And that's all that's taking one craft that I made before from a placemat using it for more than one application and it keep causing less space for my decoration to be put away, right? Pillows take up a lot of space. And if you want a pillow for all the holidays, uh, or pillows, I should say. So that's the first craft I made. I love it. I just love this. I love this thing. It didn't, you notice I didn't do anything else to it. There's no, there's nothing. I just used those placemats. Totally easy Tuesday. Okay, then... Um, I'm going to, I guess I'll show these next. Yeah, I'm going to show these next. So I bought those vases. One was really blue and one was um, amber color. And I said, I'm going to make two floral arrangements. Check these out. Now, I want you guys to really look at this. These are the same vase, but one's blue and one's um, sort of an amber. By the way, see how I put the coconut shred in there to hide the, this one you can't really see through as much. But, okay, but what I really wanted to show you guys was how completely different these are. This is a more squatty, round, floral-shaped bouquet. So what I want to talk to you guys about is when you put florals together, the first thing I do is pull together my color palette. So I'll grab my picks, and in this particular one, I hope you guys can sort of see where I went with this. So it's a blue, but I really wanted to, I had the blue here, but do you guys see that there's a hint of brown in the blue um, pick, right? There's just... There's just, there's, you know, it's fall. I love the blue and the purple. And so then I just added elements of the brown family, which includes an off-white, right? So I think this came out super beautiful. But when I do a floral arrangement, I will literally, I can, you can put your vase where you think you're going to want to put that floral arrangement. And then um, you can stick, just stick picks in it without arranging it. Just like, so you can do a bubble sort of, arrangement or you can do an elongated tall arrangement look at the difference in the height of these two arrangements right which i did on purpose so i could show you so this is what i would call i don't know if there's a technical term for it this is what i call a bubble arrangement where i just sort of put a ball of florals on top of the vase and this one is what i would call sort of an elongated arrangement and i just sort of put um, a much taller fan, almost like a tall fan out. And they both came out super beautiful. So notice the color choices on this one. Um, I really wanted to use those cotton thingies. I don't even know what they're called. And the, and the, um, and the, the picks that had the pumpkins on them. 
And so obviously I added in sort of like the pine cone and the, these are those pomegranate picks, all just really good. And this one, I just used one of their ready-made bows on. Um, I love this and I thought I would, the blue would be my favorite, but I actually think this taller one is my favorite. I love them both, but this is just two ways that you can do, you know, these vases. But I also want you to see, so notice a bow, not a bow. This one, I put one of the burlap, um, leaves on and some berries and a pumpkin. Anyway, don't you love them both? I absolutely love them both. I hope you guys love them both too. And look at how different I made two different floral arrangements. Again, you guys, I pick out the picks first. Like, what do I want to use? What colors are all going to go together? So I want you to notice in this one that I did this one little pop of something that wasn't quite that orange or the greens or the browns, but there is, it's orange in there. And I was looking at these pumpkins and I felt like there was just a little tiny bit of burgundy that I could pull out of there. And in the leaf, there is, I mean, in the leaf, in the ribbon, there's some burgundy. So it all just goes together really beautiful. I love this, I think it came out great. I love the trick of the coconut shred stuff in there because it really hides those, um, the stems sticking in there. So which one do you guys like best? You have to tell me right now. If you like the blue or the amber vase arrangement better, which one do you guys like better? Okay, so those were fun. But um, yeah, there's so many ways, just don't get set. All right, then I had found these three bo jars, bottles, glass little bottle jar things that had were fall. So the first one I did, was they just had raffia on them and this ugly pumpkin. Actually, I still have it. This ugly jack lantern thing was tied on it. But it says, as a cute little saying, it says, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. All right, super hard actually to read the words, I'm not gonna lie. These are picks today, mm, hold on. So, there weren't, there, you know, you can't put, there's not like small enough autumn leaves in there. And I was like, okay, but I really want to fill it with something floral. And I love the floral through the glass. I think it gives it a really pretty color. So I concentrated on the orange in the front so that it would be behind the words. So hopefully we could read the words better. But this is just these. It's the hop bush. <laughs> I made a joke when, about it when I... Um, and they came in like four different colors. So I just took one and pushed them inside the jar. So you can see there's like the green, the burgundy, the burgundy, the sort of brown one and the orange. Then I wrapped it in jute twine on top, put a, this is a pick that has those berries on it. But I thought that was such a good color with the autumn color here. It matched that. And then just a little tiny pump. My nails are so bad. Don't look at them, you guys. I refuse to get them done until next week because of the wedding. <laughs> I keep crafting and working and they just keep falling off. I don't care. So um, look at that. They're so bad. Um, anyway, this is a little pumpkin from the little pine cone and um, scented pine cone bags that had little pumpkins in there with them. Super cute, right? It took it from one place to another. Then I did this one. Now this one, it's it's fall, y'all. So I stuffed it full of pine cones and the little pumpkins that come in the pine cone thing. See these like green little gourd things and little pumpkins in there? So cute that I put, put some green raffi on top of it. I just knotted it and cut it. And then these are the little berries. Do I have them here? Yeah, like the little berry picks. And I took three out because um, this, it kind of, they kind of look like little mini pumpkins to me, but notice I curly cued, I curly cued their little ends there. Um, and this just took this again to a whole nother level. This is like super cute. Well, the pine cones come in a netting, a net netting, a net bag, a bag, a net bag is what they come in. And so I had used a whole package when I filled this up. And so I was like, Ooh, I like that. So I took the net bag and I put it over this bottle, which gives it this whole other element. I stuck, these are the pumpkins that are on this, the picks, like this. I didn't quite fill it because I didn't have any more off-white ones. And so I really wanted the off-white to show, so I didn't want to fill it with all orange, but it's okay. 
So this one just had that leaf on it, but I love this, the netting over it. I think it's super cool. And then I tied it with the twine and I sort of, at first I wove it through and then it was too high. You'll see in the video. And then I was like, I don't have to weave it through the whole thing. I just need to weave it through one spot and then tie it around. So I just wove it through the netting in one little spot and then tied it up front here and added one of the truck ornaments. But what I did with the truck ornament, they came with like a sunflower and little, I don't know, what was it? Yeah, is it here still? There was like a sunflower on it and something else. I took that off. And then this these are just berries because I thought it looked more like it was little pumpkins in the back of the truck. And there you go. So these three, which I think came out stunning. I think these three are just beautiful now. And they were they were cute, but they were boring. I'm gonna put them all, let me get my iPad here. I'm gonna put them all on something flat so you can see them all together. Um, now they're really high end looking ornaments. Dollar Tree drab to Dollar Tree fab. Look at those. Aren't those great? I'm just, I'm in love with them. I think they're, and these are a nice size little bottle too. All right. So I hope you guys like those. So those are the fall things I made for you this totally easy Tuesday. Um, but I did do one wedding thing, so I'm going to show you this. Um, they had these, which when I bought them, I said I'm using them to make a wedding banner. So they had these treat sacks, and I thought this looked like pirate striping. And this is best day ever. Yeah, the day we're getting married, best day ever. So I took these. I did do some video. I was sitting, literally sitting in bed watching a movie last night making these. So I'm took, <laughs> I took video while I was doing that just to show you what I was doing. But let me show you the end result. And let me tell you what my plan was, but now I think that plan has changed. So it came out super cute, this garland did. Oopsie, we're tangled. Um, yeah, the garland came out super, super, super cute. And um, my plan was that every other one that's the, that is the, um, that's the plain there, right? Because every other one is plain, has nothing on it. I was going to take... Um, little, let me show you. I was going to take little clothes pins and put one on each one and put a picture of us. I have all these pictures I'm printing off. I got to get today. And I was going to put a picture of us on there. Okay. Well, after I got the whole garland done, Marcus was looking at it and he goes, wow, babe, that looks really good. And he goes, it would look so good on the pirate ship. Like the, you know, like the sail things that come down from the mast to the does that make sense? Anyway, um, so now I think it's getting used for that. It's fine. It's getting used. And it'll look super cute on the pirate ship. You know how they have like the, the line of the little sails? I don't know. Anyway, okay. So I don't know if it's going to be a garland with photos on it or if it's going to be on the pirate ship. But either way, this came out so adorable. I used four packages. There was three, um, there was three in each package, okay? Three bags in each package, but I just want to show you this because I, oopsie, don't fall off. I want to show you guys how long this is because this is incredible. And let me show you how long this is. And first of all, this has got to be like 12 feet long. I'm not kidding you. It's very long. And what I did was the string that these, each, pa each pouch had two strings through it. So I used those strings to tie the whole thing together. Now see how I knotted in between each one of them? I just put a little knot in there. Who's at my door? My cat's opening my door. Um, let me show you here. See that? So that it was like, it just sort of came, became part of the garland. This is amazing in length, you guys. It's so long. And it, I used four packages and that's all I used. Remember that I only used four. So it's four dollars to make this whole garland. But I also want to show you that I frayed. So I frayed, as you'll see in the video how I made them, but I frayed them all and I love that look. I think that look is super cool. All right, so there's your wedding craft for the day. I hope you guys like that. All right, now you get to watch a video of how. Now you can watch a video of how, of how I put them all together. All right, you guys, if you're still here right now, um, I don't know. Just tell me which vase you liked better. That's what I really, I really do want to know which one you like better. Um, at the end of the video, tell me which craft was your favorite. And then, oh, also, I got to show you guys this. 
So you all remember the church windows that Dollar Tree sold, right? So I did a craft a while back where I made it a stained glass window. These are going to be the windows on the back of the pirate ship. So I have to stained glass them all. They're sitting here. It's my next project. That's going to look cool, huh? Okay. So um, at the end of the video, tell me which one is your favorite. If you're still here right now, give me um, a truck emoji, I guess. I'm just thinking that because of the little truck that I put on this one, which I think is super cute. Give me a little truck emoji. Okay, guys. Have a great day. Great week. Great life. Enjoy this video of how I put that stuff together. And um, I will see you back here on Thursday for Theme Thursday. There's no wild anything. No wild Wednesdays right now. I'm too busy with the wedding. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Love you, besties. And we will see you back here on Thursday. Enjoy the rest of the video. Did I say, as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Bye, guys. Enjoy. Three bottles I mean I just got them like literally just got them so um, I am going to redo these I'm not gonna use the silly paper pumpkins on them so I'm gonna take those off right away and then I'm gonna do three different things with these bottles um, just to give you guys some super easy ways to bring this up a notch or two and make them really cool and I'm going to use an array of things. So let's just dive in and I'll start redoing them. I started, I thought I was going to take these picks apart and like just put the individual like floral parts in it. But then I was like, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm going to leave them all together and put them in there. And then I used a little stick to try and get them where I wanted. I added an extra of the bright orange ones to be behind those words so that I could see the words, which worked perfectly fine. And put the cork back on. Then I grabbed some jute twine and wrapped it around the neck of this bottle, knotted it, and grabbed this pick, this berry pick. They come in a package. I think there's two of them in there. And I used the leaf and then just cut off. I didn't want to use all the berries. Cut them off and arranged it with the leaf, tied it with that jute right there, knotted the ends of the jute, cut it off. That's the furniture marker to cover the parts on those berries that had gotten white from, from you know, I don't know how they end up without the white. And then I stole a little pumpkin from the pine cone here to put on the, the last one. Then this is just pine cones, and they have like little pumpkins in them. Um, and little gourds, like there, see the green gourds. I love these. So I just filled up this bottle, super simple, corked it back up, and then decorated the top of it. So I, right here, I was looking at that green netting, I mean, brown netting that the pine cones came out of, which of course I used next. So this is just green raffia. I wrapped it around it, and knotted it, and cut it off so that it wasn't too long, but just some different things. I ended up going with these these really, I love these berries. So note that I only did three, right? What did I say? Three, fives, and sevens. So there's three. I sort of twisted them all together and then twisted their ends so that they would have a curly cue um, on the end of it <clears throat> and then attached it to the raffia. I just knotted it with the raffia. Cut that down a little bit more and then we're done. 
Then I went to the next bottle. So I used jute twine and just was weaving it in and out of the bottom of this netting here. So I'm going to gather it so I can put it at the bottom of the bottle as opposed to like gluing it all down. I didn't want to glue it all down. Um, so I'm just going to cinch it all together here. And put the bottle in there, cinch it all together, knot it off, cut the extra string off. So it still stands perfectly fine. Then I started to weave the jute twine through this so that I could cinch it around the neck of the bottle. But you'll see when I do this, I couldn't weave it very evenly for some reason. I don't know if the pattern was off on the netting, which it could have been. Um, so instead, I put it on there. It doesn't line up right, and so I just pull the string out. And instead, I just wove it through a couple of times in and out on the back and then cinched it around the front, and that was totally fine right here. Just weave it in and out a few times at the right area that I want it, cinch it, knot it, bow it. I trimmed down the top of that just a little bit knotted them ends on my jute twine, and then decided to add a couple of things to this. So I, oh no, I'm filling it. Sorry. I'm taking the pumpkins that were on skewers and cutting them down. They don't fit in there perfectly, but you squeeze them in a little bit, and then they go in. And that was all I put in this one, which I thought was really cool. This is the one that just had an autumn leaf on it, and then I put the brown netting over it. I love, love how this came out looking. And then added um, just a truck on this. But look, see how it had a sunflower and some other twig thing there. So I get it all cleaned up and I take a bunch of berries. So I think they look like little pumpkins almost. And just glued that onto the bed of the truck. And then twist that onto my hanger. And then this one will be done. I think it came out really cute. And there are three different jars and they look completely different. Tied that truck on with the jute twine by the way there. And that's it. And then it's done. These three came out beautiful. I hope you guys like these. simple I'm just gonna glue the sides on this pillow and so um, when I did this though I did just run like a one long bead of glue and then lined it up so just so that it was you know pretty straight forward instead of like gluing one part of it I did the whole side all at the same time and then I glued the second side now I'm gonna glue the third side <laughs> And then after I glue that and put the pillow in, and like I showed you earlier, I just did like three or four areas of glue on that side. And then it's done. Super easy. This is, I've got two vases here, and so I'm going to make a floral arrangement with each one. They're going to have a little bit different twist on them. Both fall. Um, I'm loving this blue. It's going to be really pretty. And I'm just going to film super easy. So I'm going to use a bunch of different floral picks. I'm going to use my coconut shred plant liner because this goes inside here hide your stems and especially on this one where you can see through it so it'll give it a nice visually a nice look to have that in there um, to cover the you know the stems all right let's go first let's put some of that shredded coconut stuff in there and cut the tags off all of my picks and then I had a couple of pieces where I'd pulled off pumpkins and I was just twirling that so it would be curly. 
the stem parts that didn't have anything on them. And then I'm just going to mix the lavender with the blue. I was just sort of putting the blue in the center of this. And on these particular picks, they have these really stringy, grassy pieces. And I, I use the scissors and like you would on curling ribbon, I curl them up. And I'm just working with, I'm arranging it all in there, putting some more pumpkins in with these pumpkin picks. I like, um, this color is really good because it's an off-white to go with these. Then one burlap ribbon. Um, and I undo the bow. This is like a leather string and knot the ends of it and put the burlap on there. Curl the end of it. Get some berries. I love the color of these berries. It really pulls out the sort of purplish um, foliage that's in there. Just sort of arrange it on there. Add a little clip-on pumpkin and we are done. This came out so beautiful. I love this arrangement. Now the amber one. So again, we're going to put the shredded coconut stuff in there and the cotton ball kind of picks. And I'm just going for the height on this one. So arranging, sort of balancing the picks as I put them in there. The pomegranates and the pom-poms, so those were more in the front and in the center, a little bit lower. And um, again, I'm curling like the grassy parts on these picks. It looks really good on them when you do that. Just adds a little bit of something in the arrangement. One of these bows, going to tie it on there. I needed a little bit more of the coconut to cover up the stems inside the vase. And then going to just undo the bow on that leather again. Twist this bow on there, not the ends of the leather. And then that's it. It's all done. TV doing this little craft. So these are the the treat sacks. So I just want to show you. I'm taking each one and I'm untying the knots and then pulling that string out. <laughs> trying to use one hand to hold the camera. And, okay, so I pull the strings out and I end up with two strings. Then I'm going to take all those strings and tie them together to make the string for my banner. Um, so, but first I have to deconstruct each one of these and pull all of the strings out. I don't know why it's not pulling out. Oh, there we go. Oh, see, that one came out. And then this one. And then, so now I'm going to end up with these bags that don't have the strings in them. And we have the ones that say best day ever. And then the striped ones. This is going to be a really cute banner. All right, so now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut on, I'm going to cut down each side across and up so that it makes these two separate panels, one plain and one with the writing for both of these. All right, so see, I just cut off the two sides and the bottom. And then I have, oops, there's part of it that was left. So, I have four panels now from two of these and I'm going to cut all of them and then using the string that I took out of them, I'm going to make it one big banner and I'm going to put pictures of us on the plain ones, which would be every other one. Now that I have them all cut and I am now fraying them, so I'm just pulling some of the strings out of them to fray them because I like that look. It's going to give it just sort of a cool finish on all of the banner pieces. So next, that's what I'm going to do. Fray them all. Okay, so I have frayed all of these and see how different they look. They look really, I don't know how to explain it, but they look different. I totally like it. So now I'm going to take my strings that I took out from them and start knotting those together and stringing my um, 